Hello, welcome to Welcome Man to Bungalow. Man in his Bungalow watching horror. <laughs> okay, so this today we're doing Friday the 13th part 3. But we're doing the 3D version. In 3D so version, everybody so. put your glasses on. All right. You there know, you if you need to push oh, pause so you can get the glasses. <laughs> yep. But you're watching it in 3D with us with these red and blue 1984 OG <laughs> Hondo oh. grocery store 3D glasses. I will try my best to remember most of this, which I, I don't. Um, remember a few things, a few trivia things, obviously. The, uh, the hockey mask is introduced in this. First time we get the hockey mask. From the potato sack. Going from the potato sack with that big potato head. To the um, <laughs> that's right. To the uh, uh, the first time we ever see the iconic Jason mask, it's the cleanest it will be ever in 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 history of cinema. Is right here. This is the cleanest that you'll ever see the hockey mask. So, oh yeah, that's a good point. Um, so here we go. I'm going to launch it in three, two, one, and you guys can follow along. Yeah, it is one rated R. <laughs> Yeah. For adult material. Um, I believe, excuse me, uh, I believe there are um, boobies in this. Can we say the adult uh, word for boobies? Well, that looks pretty good in 3D. Oh, yeah, see? That's surprising. Yeah, Paramount with the stars, old school yeah. Paramount. Can we use the adult word for boobies in this? Tits? Yeah, okay, we wait, can. Titties. The, yeah. We got titties. Oh, wait, that's a good... Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, absolutely. the first few minutes of this picture are not in 3D. However, you oh, need special you know, 3D glasses. they keep doing this in up to what four, where they keep replaying the first replaying, three. Replaying, yeah, yeah, the uh, I th yeah, definitely in four they do it. Yeah, no, no, uh, five. I think they do it in five a little bit because they have in part five they uh, they start off with a little Corey Feldman. Front, right. You know? So <laughs> from four. it's not from another movie, but it's definitely a flashback. Right, um, for the Tommy Jarvis character. Yeah, here we go, part two. Ah, uh, Amy Steele. Amy Steele. Getting that Beautiful steel. then, beautiful steel. now. Beautiful. She's got that steel dildo she uses. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, look at that. Look the at potato that. sack. Baghead. Yep. Baghead. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I like this movie a lot, part two. Yeah, that'll help put a tree, tree in. Do you yeah. know part two? When was the uh, last time you saw part two? a while it's been a while part two is is just a fun fun sequel it's like a great um blueprint for a a slasher sequel you know what i mean because it's you know you're 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 still carrying the elements of the first. I mean, you see it right here she's got she's you know the mother's head but that was cut off in the first one and and even the beginning of part two um, uses the same actor, or actress from the first one. But it changes things up. It's the first time you see Jason, and, it, and that's kind of mind-blowing when you think about it. If you transport yourself back to that time, um, part one was all about the mother. So you're thinking, what the hell are they going to do with part two? Yeah, uh, two... Two, if I... They kind of redid one. Um... In, yeah. in a lot higher, you know, obviously they had they, a slightly they, higher budget. Exactly. They redid one, but they but they oh, gave it a great... But the biggest complaint that they had, uh, as far as I remember, was that um, they... I think uh, Sean Cunningham was pissed off because they were kind of like, well, what the hell was Jason doing this entire time in the in the woods? Right, in like, the woods. Because like it was the mom who killed it. Years. Yeah. Well, and then, you know, you... you Mother's talking to you. Take that mask off and take your cock out. It's funny that just wearing a sweater, you get confused. <laughs> you know, Jason's confused. Well, he does have only one eye in that. I guess you see Amy Steele as an older woman, or right. middle-aged woman. But, um, so, yeah, that was their biggest complaint, was like, that doesn't make... They're like, that doesn't make any sense. Why... Where the hell was Jason? And then the whole idea that, I Is mean, that if he's he... alive, well, what's the point of having revenge? I always looked at it as, 
And that's that's the this is honestly the only way you can go about any of these movies. Any in, not just Friday Thirteenth, but any of the slasher movies in general. You have to kind of just you know kind of paint a picture on yourself because they don't have time to build too much of a of a history. But I always looked at it as he spent all those years like he watched his mom get killed, and he spent all those years in this weird, gross. I mean, he he put together this cabin out of it looks like like it, it looks like he didn't even use many hammers and nails you know what I mean it, yeah. it looks like he just kind of pasted well, he's it a survival, mud. he's a survivalist he's a survivalist yeah. so it's like for him it, I, I looked at it like he was plotting the whole time and he was like uh, 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 growing up I mean listen this is only like I, I forget what they say this is only a few years since the murder or since the first one, I should say. Right. It's not the next year. I oh, don't okay. believe. I think yeah, it's yeah. like a few. It's like a few years later. You know what I mean? So he had a few years of just living like this, but he was probably living like this before. Right. But then, what the hell was he doing? He's still like, at Camp Crystal Lake. Maybe he felt so much shame about how he looked <laughs> yeah. that he didn't want to tell his mom that he survived the drowning. You know? uh, okay. Like maybe he just he was he was retarded. So maybe he he was like he had that retar- retard shame. Yeah. He had that retard shame that that they all feel that, and he didn't want his mom to see him like this. You right. Know, eating eating buttholes and rats. You know what I mean? So. Or rat buttholes. Rat rat but, rat <clears throat> buttholes. Do they ever show the? Fa- yeah, I, th- I think they they never show the mongoloid face of Jason even after they take off the in this the sack. yeah yeah they do well later on they uh, don't no. show it in this one no yeah at the end of this a little clip at the end they when he comes of, through the window yeah, yeah they yeah. recreate right. from the first one right? or the I'm sorry the lake um the interesting thing the guy who played Jason is Warrington Gillette mm-hmm. Warrington Gillette um Gillette the best <laughs> man can get yeah. um he for a while like people couldn't find him. He was another one of those actors that, for a while, people couldn't find because he only did this. Oh one. yeah, yeah. But now he's yeah. made his return to the, uh, yeah. you know, the the horror festival circuit, right? And he gets paid pretty well to make these appearances. Like, hey, I'm part, I'm from part two. It looks like they reshot that where he was just clawing away from there because I don't ever recall him crawling from that. Yeah. He didn't crawl away, did he? I, I don't remember that. So they that was kind that of uh, yeah. odd. That that might have been a shot that they put in here. Yeah. Oh god, oh, there, there it is. <laughs> it looks pretty uh, good. Listen to Part it. Part three. Uh. I like the Roman numeral three. Like, but Friday the Thirteenth is boom, boom. the it's number. Got that, it's got that. Yeah, Dana face. Camel. Who is the hottest uh, uh, heroine in this? Uh, Who's the hottest piece? Yeah. In this one or in general? In any of them. Um, well, that's not easy for me. I mean, here's something that I've always thought. I, I've really enjoyed the brunettes yeah. in this series. I enjoy brunettes in general. And brunettes in horror movies just... Mwah, well, it's funny because you know? all, all, the, all the ones that survive in these are, are, are always blonde. blonde. Yeah. yeah, but I always <laughs> like the brunettes. I mean, of course, my favorite of all time is uh, you know Nancy Loomis. Uh, formerly okay. Nancy Keys from the, uh, or maybe she's Nancy Keys now. She was Nancy Loomis. Either way, she is my favorite. She was from the Halloween, the first one, and that is brunette, mm. just attitude. Mwah. Yeah. Um, what about Judy Aronson? Which one was she? She was the one that gets killed in the raft in part four of the final chapter. It's the one, oh, you know, yeah. the people no, goof off good. on it. Yeah. She's she great. still looks great. She looks great. Yeah. Uh, and, and like, so the, like, for example, there's, there's a couple of brunettes in this one, but the brunette that, um, with the curly hair, the wavy hair in this, I, I dig, uh, part three, I should say. And part two, uh, Steve Miner, I'm friends with him on Facebook. Nice. I mean, he never talks Steve Miner is, oh, speaking of which, he is the only one. Wow. That looks incredible. Oh, Steve Miner is actually one of the guys who has run both Halloween and Friday the 13th. Did he run Halloween? Yeah, Halloween H2O was him. Oh, look Remember? at that. Yeah. Little, he's getting Isn't that his crazy? fingers and all those yeah. juicy. That's like this, uh, what that, the J.J. Abrams doing both Star Trek and Star Wars oh, kind of thing. Oh, God, yeah, he, he crossing yeah. the streams yeah. on that. 
Oh, so he, here was an interesting fact in the cinema world. Um, this is shot in anamorphic, which is a squeeze um, uh, oh, lens look at that. product. Look at that. Like, That's cool. This, yeah, see, it works but, on this. The, the... So the only reason why they did it in 3D, or uh, the only reason why, how they could do it was in... In um in anamorphic. Whoa! Oh <laughs> shit! That one they, got me. They love this pole stuff. I think there's somebody playing with a yo-yo in this too. Anyway, go ahead. What oh, we're saying? so the anamorphic lens is the only way they could have shot it in 3D. So it took forever to get anything done, and the actors were just getting super impatient because you know it, it was a lot. It, this is actually shot as a 3D film. Oh, wow. So it was a pain in the ass for everybody involved. But, man. It's what, like I could just reach out with that coffee cup it's pretty and good. drink the vodka yeah. she's got. I mean, the print that is on the DVD is a little faded. I mean, it looks like, you know. But yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's definitely... Uh, adds to the Oh, here we go. Here's another one. This is a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, ow! That one got me. That, see? The antenna? Now, that's not, that's not as good as the pole. Yeah. But... Uh, Oh, see, look, this is the next day. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I like how they have the footage from that film. In, yeah, they're, they've it's got, not from so a we television know, camera. So we know it's the next day. He's still okay. out there. He's alive. So what the hell was part two then, chronologically? What is, what is part two? At a different camp? What was part Yeah, two? part two is... Ooh, um, he likes to hide behind laundry. It, part two is not at Crystal Lake. He, but Crystal Lake is not is near is like the camp over. Yeah, it's nearby. The camp so that's what they're like at the when he's telling the the you know the goofy story at the campfire. Right. He's talking about like you know the 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 next door camp and you know Jason's hungry. Right. He's hungry for pussy. Because they go um they cross they cross a a. What do you call that? A property line there in part two. Yeah, in yeah. part two, you know, you have some, like, a couple <clears throat> of them are sneaking off and, and they find the dead dog while they're visiting, uh, while they're looking for Crystal Lake. In this one, though, we are back to Crystal Lake, I think. Or some, wait a minute. It, it's... It is Crystal Lake because of the barn. It is, you know? but it's not, like, they're not at the camp. Yeah. You know, it's like they're at, like, because it's all about these kind of fucked up kids, in a sense. That's one of the things that always kind these of bugged me about abort, Friday 13. It's just, you never, <laughs> yeah. It, it's Look funny. all that the, Miller Lite yeah, and Budweiser cores. cores. It's like, uh, it's like the bandit uh, dropped yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. What is it? Like, what year is this? 84? 83? 83. 83. I was two years old. When was uh, Smoking the Bandit? 70, 77. Seven? So six seven years, years ago. So it was still yeah. huge. People yeah. were they could still the do country. the run. Yeah, well, you can still do the run. Huh? That is really cool effect. If you have your 3D glasses on, this yeah, is I mean, really stop. cool. Listen, really, yeah. <laughs> that guy's eating up fish flakes. What a weirdo. Can you eat fish flakes? <laughs> well, apparently this well, guy... I mean, is it not... What is in it? Uh, nothing. It's just fish flavored flakes. Oh, he said he just oh. read Dayfly Egg. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is vile. That shop is really cool, though. You just total set. <laughs> that fucking rad. But it, it's yeah. like you could reach over and get... It, it's really weird how 3D is. Yeah. It works better on the screen than... Uh, Look at this Washington gross movie. fucker. <laughs> His hands just all over everything. That's one of the things you don't see in movies anymore, just having this kind of, you know, disgusting, unrepentant... I saw movie. some motherfucker doing that the other day at the grocery <laughs> store. Some guy just grabbed a... Uh, a customer just reached oh, in yeah. Drink nonchalantly your sunny and grabbed some grapes and stuff and was eating oh, them. And I was like... Great. I mean, look, when I was a kid, my dad did that with me all the time. He was always sneaking chocolates and stuff. <laughs> but it is disgusting yeah. people putting their hands You're in You're scumbag, it. yeah. Look at that. He's just eating he all his... He don't give a fuck. <laughs> look at those Campbell soups. He drinks the Sunny Delight and puts it back. <laughs> Sunny Delight donut. You know what's funny? They're doing this now. Licking ice cream and, you know, uh, putting it back. Look at that. She's putting it... Oh. <laughs> Who the fuck would buy that? <laughs> Who would buy that? Well, it doesn't look like anybody goes to this... Uh, That's this, right. This grocery store, this convenience store, out in the middle of nowhere. They own it. They they paid for it out, uh, you know, fully because they were both... They both smuggled drugs from the 70s. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he was a big pot smoker. Some of that yeah, apple... That's why he's... Uh, yeah, gold, that's you why, know? That's why he can't stop eating. Uh, he, he, this is definitely a pot. Whoa, pot. did you see that? It looked yeah, like a moth fly, flew. Yeah. <laughs> I actually flinched. Uh. That's one thing we got to mention uh, for everybody listening. This is, this is the Cheech and Chong of Friday the 13th. 
this is there the, a bunch of stoners in this. Oh, they this are. Is, yeah. This, this is yeah, just yeah. a stoner. Yeah. Uh, which is funny. It took him like three movies to really embrace it. That is cool. Whoa! Whoa! Shit. <laughs> you see the wire? Yeah, but it was still you know, in your face. It's weird. Do you? You get the feeling that these people who make these movies are kind of squares, you know? Like, Wes Craven and Sean S. Cunningham just sort of, like, make movies they think teenagers would dig, you know? Right. <laughs> but they kind of, it's past their, like, their time, right? Well, I, I th- this movie is the first to get real fun. Now you're having fun. Okay. Like, the first one is, is legitimately, I mean, if you were it's in, pretty serious. If you were in 1980, 81, whenever that came out, 81, is yeah. that right? So the year I was born, the first Friday the 13th comes out. Or was it 80? Might oh, it was 80. 80. 80 yeah, 80. 80 yeah. But anyway, it comes out. Nobody had ever seen, really. They had seen Halloween, but they had never seen this yet. You know, it was new. And it, so it was scary. It was legitimately scary. Part two continued with the scary. But this one, they finally said, let's start having fun. Yeah. We're doing it in 3D. We're, it's going to be lots of laughter. We're going to put in lots of uh, titties and... Uh, and uh, a lot of jump you know, scares. Yeah, jump scares and yeah. joints and fat dudes and curly hair and yeah, <laughs> like those guys. Um, they retards. They have retards of, in this too. They sort of started to get smart with their temp. Not smart, but they started getting like act like they got their template down all of a sudden. Yeah. You know, like at the end when all the bodies start showing up and they're discovering them and they're getting that like, oh yeah, that person from that person got killed there and so forth. Which they didn't too, but you know. Yeah, but I know what you mean though. This got a little bit more. Oh, <laughs> yeah. he, oh he's reaching to us. Um, this got more specific, you know, with with how the kills are. Um, I think that's what you're saying. It's like yeah, yeah. I mean, part two had some really good moments, but uh, um, you know, like certainly with the wheelchair dude. Yeah, you know, and that was in part two. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know one of the things. Um, what the hell is that? Part two actually looks. It's her knitting bag. Or, oh. Um, part two actually looks better than part three. Uh, there's just, I guess, the three D effect just sort of, it's cool and everything, but I think it really hindered the look of this of this project because the second one looks really really good. Yeah. Um, th- yeah, I mean the Physically, second one is just yeah, no, it, it does. I mean, yeah. it, it, and I know what you mean. It's like if we were watching this non three D, yeah, it looks good. It's it's super grainy though, and it's it, like it is, know. but it's it's. I mean, if we had the two two D version on and we didn't have to worry about the coloring and all that, it still looks good. It's just, you know, uh, I mean, I think we're watching something that we know we can't have. Um, oh. Otherwise, they hadn't fine-tuned the 3D effect as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. You know? It's not like we have, like, the Avatar glass. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, cool. Whoa, it's in our face. Look at that fucking van. Her. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. both of them. They're yeah. both my brunettes. They're mine. I'm going to take them. Look at her tits. Look at her oh, bashing sweet. through the girls. I wish you wore this stuff. Oh, the van, van, the van. That looks like I, your... That is yeah. oh, R.I.P. to my van. Yeah, we See, took pictures with that, didn't we? Oh, that's a cool shot. That's yeah. really cool. See, that's a that really works. good one. Yeah, that's depth. Because there's two ways to do this: you push it back or you push it forward. Look at her tits, just kind of poking out. Poking your those head. are 3D. Yeah, those are very 3D. Yeah. I'm gonna get them in my mouth. Thank you, Dana, Dana Kendall. Oh yeah, Shelly. Shelly. He's a harmless guy. It sucks that you know. I mean they just cast the right guy for this. They're like, we gotta get us a <laughs> just a goofy not the fro. Yeah, just a fro chunky nerd. Oh, this is an interesting fact. Uh or Look at this you? other dude's hair though. It looks like Jim Carrey from uh, <laughs> Yeah, Dumb from and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> it's a ball cut. <laughs> Uh, originally, Jason was supposed to rape Chris in the flashback scene, but this idea was dropped or downplayed. Who's Chris? Chris is... From the second one? Uh, no, this one. Um, it is 
He rapes her? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Whoa. A mongoloid rape? Yeah, that's kind of hardcore. But that makes complete yeah. sense. Like, that's dark it's as gonna, fuck. It's uh, going to rape Dana Kimmel. Oh, her. Dana that, Kimmel. This is the one I like. Yeah. The one on the right. This is the one I really... Look she at that. really looks like Judy Aronson. She looks like Judy. She's gorgeous. Yeah. She's... Uh, there's a Latino quality to her. Oh, no. The fans on fire. <laughs> Sound familiar? Yeah. See, here's the problem I'm going to have is that I'm going to be unable to talk bad about that girl, really. I'm not going to be able oh, yeah, to talk bad, talking. but I, but I mean, oh yeah, here they are. I like that. It's nice. Yeah, she would, uh, so Jason was supposed to rape, rape Dana Kimmel. Which one is, is that? the girl on the right. Oh. The main, the main girl. That's Dana? Yeah. On the right? Yeah, yeah. I'm in love That's with the main, her. Main I'm in girl. love with her. Now, <clears throat> they all, you know, it is kind of funny. The 80s girls do have a similar look, you know? Well, it's like, it's like today. God, how many girls do you see today that look exactly, they all do the same look. They yeah. do the, the bangs cut Whatever's, off and yeah. the weird, you know. Whatever's oh, he's giving us a joint, Whoa. man, indeed. <laughs> I like how there's a middle-aged woman, like, just hanging out with a, in a middle-aged and the, man. Yeah, yeah, it's like they're Are they the, just catching a ride or something? No, I think they're they're just older hippie friends, you know, oh. the ones that never grew up and just smoke pot all yeah. the time. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, uh -oh. cops! This Jesus. is how you you need to make a movie. You got to cast an equal number of like green actors and an equal number of good actors because the green actors bring a very like. Uh, real, like there's just a an honestness to them. You know what I mean? They're yeah. very, they're very genuine. Even though they may, there might be a little bit of overacting, but it's like they're really putting themselves in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and that adds that there's a heart quality. You know, you felt you, you your heart really attaches to them. I am. Um, I. I know that a lot of those people just play themselves, really. Yeah. You know, they're just, they are who they are. The, you know, going back to what you're saying, that makes sense to man. It, that's actually kind of brilliant. They were, they were like, he's, you know, to introduce the idea that he rapes too because he has that animal urge in him to fuck. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, primal. That, that's, yeah, primal. Yeah. He's just an animal, so he's going to, he's going to fuck and he's going to eat and he's going to kill. Yeah. You know, and that is, that would have taken this series into a... It wouldn't have been as fun. Like, it would have gotten to a really... Because it would have continued. What do you think a mongoloid... Just raping a her? A mongoloid rape would look like. It would be like... Oh, that's a cool ah, shot. That's cool. Ah, no, that's not what it's, that's, well, that's what he sounds like in general. I think. Yeah. But yeah. Hey, look. They got a canoe. You think they're going to go canoeing? Oh, poor rabbit. Yeah. Yeah, sweet okay. band. I yeah, I don't think this is. Dodge. Um, it it's is dodge. They did it again with another. I think it's another camp outside of Crystal Lake. Yeah, I like the Jersey plates. Yeah, well, this is all shot in like Jersey and Connecticut. Yeah, these movies. Most, I mean, you know, of the eighties. I think they returned back to Cali for one of these. Part six is in. Uh, well, the camp from part six is in Georgia. Okay. Georgia or yeah, Georgia. But they did shoot like six or seven here. Right. And then eight is Manhattan. Right. And well, then nine is go to is, is Jason Goes to Hell. Well, so that I don't know where they shot. Not that. necessarily. Oh look, Manhattan. it's the they eye. shot um, <laughs> They shoot uh um, oh. they shot Toronto for, It's an eyeball. They shot They shot Canada for Manhattan. Oh, that's what it is. Remember? Mean. What a crazy fuck. Oh, it's the eye. Oh yeah, there you oh. go. <laughs> so gross. Really it looks weird. like what would be in our heads. Really, bud? <laughs> you just hold him there for a while. Higgins Haven. I wonder how they come up with the names. Crystal Lake is great. Yeah, I you know, and that's the thing that I'm trying to remember about this. I, I know it's still there. Yeah. Like they I think they reference it in this, but I could be wrong. I think um, the one in Jersey was a Boy Scout camp, and they... That one um, still goes. Yes. You can still go there. I, I've been wanting to do that. I've been wanting to go Jersey. to Jersey and, yeah. and go to that camp, because you can go there, and you can, you know, uh, and I think if it's not season or whatever, you can actually stay there. 
Okay. Look around. Chris. Oh, God. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, yeah, they're nice. They're perfect. So, it seems like, to me, this, this is a perfect, perfect excuse to do 3D. Like, you know, horror films in 3D is probably a... You know, it just makes sense, right? Things yeah, well, I think that, like, if it was, if you could have great picture quality and still do, and still have the 3D, mm -hmm. then, hell, why wouldn't you? It would be awesome. It would make slasher movies. It would just reinvigorate the slasher genre. You know what I mean? And, and the slashers are coming back. I mean, they're doing that American Horror Story 1984. Yes, you know, so, yeah. So not to date us on this that's thing. Definitely, but, but, that's uh, definitely a play on this this genre. yeah that's what yeah. this is i mean and it looks great the posters yeah, it looks, yeah. you know it. for all of you where we live in la here technically we're in van nuys right van nuys holmes van nuys wednesday night but it's um the posters look amazing they're all over town very 80s very 80s This guy sucks. This, <laughs> this, guy. Yeah, this guy sucks. <sighs> this guy is. Yeah, he's pretty. Du he does dumb things. He's just dull. <laughs> he's he's like a he's just like a, a very commercial actor. Like you know, hey, let yeah. me smile. Yeah, you know, he looks like those uh, penthouse. Um, what do you call those penthouse ads that you want you to smoke some viceroy? Yes, yeah, lark. Viceroy. Remember lark? Yeah. Uh, lark no, I don't. <laughs> before your time, you haven't read enough penthouse magazines, man. They're in the penthouse? They're in the pictures, yeah. Damn, I yeah. gotta get more Lark. of those. I'm, I've just been kind of sticking to the beaver. Yeah. Penthouse is pretty raw. Or the though. Wii. Wii magazine. Wii is actually owned by Playboy. It, it is? was, yeah. I got a couple of those. I got some French good, Playboy. I got some good, I got like a 1969 Playboy. Look at that carpet on the doors. Uh, yeah. That's what was on mine. I had to rip them all out. All yeah, because it's what mold, moldy. I need to get back into a van. God yeah, damn. <laughs> you can drive to a camp. You see, that's in California. That's up there in uh, Santa Clarita. So that is. Yeah. But that's burned now, right? Yeah. 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 What a shame. So this was well. Then some stuff of this was filmed in California, but most of it was still in New Jersey and Connecticut. I believe so, but let me double check. Double check on, on that because it. it wouldn't make sense why they had to, they'd have Jersey tag. Well, I guess if they were really paying attention to detail, they'd be like, "Oh, I think we showed Jersey tags in the other movies." But yeah, yeah just make it consistent. Oh, here's another one. It's filming locations. Oh, here she goes. Look, look, look. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, filming locations. Um, it was Santa Clarita. That's where that barn is or was. Oh. And that's it? That's old school. Well, let's see. Oh, there's another one. Whoa. So. It's great. Like, the fans definitely put. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. The hay. So, yeah. They did shoot in Vernon, New Jersey. Okay. So, it's. They must have done, like, whatever exteriors. They're just like, we'll do it in LA. Yeah. Melody Ranch, which we've already known yeah. was part of the fire. And I. Like, I it's, yes. You know what's interesting is if you think of it in the timeline of, of, of like, when these movies were remade. The first couple, by the time that the second one was finished, they were already, they had their offices out here now. Right. Fully. They were like, okay. On Paramount? Yeah. yeah. Like, or, or at least in LA. Because they, at this time, they were like, you know, I'm talking about like uh, Cunningham and stuff like that. Because at oh. this point, he's just like, you know what? Uh, you know, we, we'll film the main stuff in Jersey, but we'll get all the... Uh, you know, the barn stuff and things like that. And, and well, that's a main once part. Once we of get it, back. But, yeah, yeah, once we get back. So they probably reduced what they had to spend. Oh. It, you know, Steve Miner doesn't get a lot of credit for his, for making these things actually work. Right. You know, it's like, it's kind of funny because for the most part, he's pretty much, he makes it so that it's not too annoying. You know, all these what? horror films. It's yeah, not even too what? Too annoying. Like, H2O yeah. was just good enough that you weren't bothered by, you know, a lot of it. 
Uh, eight, look, eight it's show, a bad movie. Yeah, eight show but, was not annoying. I know what you yeah. mean. It wasn't annoying, but it was. Uh, I, I was. I love that you know, Jamie Lee was back in the fold, but yeah. uh, I was just disappointed. I, I that mask was terrible in that movie. Yeah, and and that mask is a powerful thing. They tried so hard in that film, and not to get too much into it, but it just seemed like. They had a deadline because it was the 20th anniversary. Yeah. And they had to meet it no matter what. Well, last year was the you know, 30th, 40th. 40th? 40th. Fuck. And that's why they had the Halloween. You know, they, they timed it out. But they they gave themselves enough time to make a decent movie, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, the same thing with one, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You know, this was the 50th anniversary this year of the, the murder. So... Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know, it's funny they reintroduced this this sort of prankster in the uh, Corey Feldman, yeah. Yeah, well, like with his mask. He's he, he's in part one. You get the blueprint of the. I mean, the the first the prankster, the prankster goofball. Uh, you know, if you Template. look at Black Christmas, yes. In Black Christmas, if that's like you know the spiritual godfather of all these, or I don't, you know, or or the great godfather, I don't know. I would say. Black Christmas, I don't think you had the... You didn't have the prankster, but you had the kind of goofball guy a little bit. The 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 dude that looked like the uh, old weatherman with the big mustache, Gene Shalit. Yeah. Or maybe he was the film dude. Gene Shalit was the film dude. But he looked like Gene Shalit in uh, Black Christmas. Hey, go, you let me go with you. I gotta get some condoms, because I'm gonna fuck some bitches here. I'm definitely fucking some bitches. Um, so this is okay. So are they camp counselors getting ready to? I I don't recall what why they're here. Are they getting ready to open the camp again? I think they're getting ready to to yeah to open the camp. I, I think they're getting ready, but not Crystal Lake. I yeah, think they're it's just a different kind camp. Well, prepping. Higgins. Yeah, they're just Higgins kind of, Haven. But yeah, part two, uh, Friday the Thirteenth had of course the. That redheaded kind of goofball with a uh, you know prankster dude. Um, part oh, yeah. one, the first yeah. one had um, the prankster-ish goofball, the guy who was like in the Indian outfit at one point, like dancing around. So that's definitely a staple yeah. in the Halloween movies. You have a little of that. It's not as much, but you definitely have it. Uh, you know, like in the first one, you have um, uh, what's his name. That's banging PJ Souls. You know he's 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 a little goofy. Yeah. Uh, you know, kind of the jokester, but he's not. He's such a non-entity in that movie. He's just got the death scene, really, and yeah. the fuck scene. There you go. Some, oh, look at those some... boobs. Whoa! <laughs> look at this. Ah, Chili. Oh, got about Chili. She's awesome. Yeah. She's a man eater. Yeah. She that, gets into the end. That, I mean, look at the. Oh yeah. That's right, mm-hmm. these guys. It's a this. Halloween costume. You get yeah. three people dressed like that all, the, all yeah. day, you know, <laughs> all night. That's a fun well, they're costume. they're bikers. Yeah. Look at this. You, on the left, I've got my heart, and on the right, my soul. Yeah, you know what you I know. mean? Like, she, <laughs> the two of them would be amazing to bang. I mean, just to make love to both of them. But it'd be making love with the girl on the left, Dana. On the right, it'd be making it fuck. You know, you'd yeah. just be fucking like an animal it'd be amazing it's so weird it's like Dana is such a girl next door character you know like yeah. it, it subsequent ones just have you know god yeah she's sexy <laughs> they stopped the movie for this scene I mean this is where you're just like I want to see them just fucking fuck each other <laughs> scissor Scissor systems. I like how there's no one who runs the store that could ever yeah. stop this. Look at that fuck. Yeah. That was a 20. That was a 20. Oh, Shelly. That, that was a 20. People love Shelly, though. They he do. shows up to the conventions. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so oh, you here find you go. A, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is good. This um, look at that tall boy. Look at that shit. What is this the? Uh-oh. 
it's <laughs> God, motherfucker. Oh shit. <laughs> See, the, the way she delivers that, it's not great, but it's just so it's enough. It's a it's 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 so heartfelt. You know, you really do like her. I like how it's Oh here you go. Kinda looks like Dave Chappelle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it does. I'm Rick James, bitch. Damn. Damn. Mm, nice. Damn. Yeah. I like it. It's that windows like, like perfect. Yeah, it's like perfectly. Perfect fake yeah. glass. You know, I've never worked with fake glass. I want to work with fake glass. Well, they say if you're jumping out of it, it's safer to use real glass because it's tempered. And so a bead, when it blows up, it'll uh, bead rather than turn into shards. Oh, yeah. Because that's shards. Really oh, that's very, oh, yeah. That's very unsafe. You think he fucked her? <laughs> Probably. God, that would that Good break my heart. No, I do not want to know yeah. that Shelly did yeah. that. Well, that would just destroy me. Uh, even wow. Oh, yeah, no. even more. No. In, even no. even more of a question. Oh, oh shit. Even more of a question. Do you think people ask him that at those conventions? <laughs> Well, not if they him. don't, they're missing out. Yeah. I'm sure he's been asked that, and I'm right. sure he's probably been like, probably like, well, there was definitely some sex going on, but uh, not him, uh, not me. <laughs> he's a serious actor, man. He's very serious. Yeah. Serious about not fucking. Yeah. Get that. I like how she's like. It's not. Yeah, it's like sunbathing. She's sunbathing. <laughs> Where it's, no sun. Yeah, we you know what? We have to ask Larry Zerner about the. Uh, oh, is that his name? Is that Shelley? Yeah, that's Larry Shelley. Zerner. Yeah, probably should have kept his real name. LZ. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, Shelley. Oh, he's like bringing. He's like taking her in. He's like, oh, the fuck. Oh, back yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody paid attention to that guy. Look, it's no bras. I mean, yeah. her titties are just Welcome to the sticking. 80s. Welcome to the 80s. It's funny how when you look at this movie right here, 1983, um, and you fast forward to today, there's only one beard in this, and that's the, the pothead dude, you know? Oh, yeah. Everybody else is clean yeah. shaven. Nowadays, it's the complete yeah. opposite. You'd have one person that would be clean Hipster. shaven. Every, yeah, Everyone's it's just hipster. total... Hipsters have taken over, man. Hipsters have fucking taken over. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. God, I love horny girls. Yeah, I know. I love horny girls. Yep. Sounds disgusting. Let's do it. Yeah. See, that's, that's what's great about these movies is that, like, it's the guys who are like that, but they write it as the girls are the horny ones that are like, yeah. let's go fuck. Yeah. And the guys are the <laughs> nice. ones kind of playing, oh, like yeah. It and it's always the guys playing, you know, coy or yeah. playing like, oh, yeah. hard to they get or whatever. Yeah, they can't get enough of it. It never yeah. works for me like that. I'm sexual. always the horny one. <laughs> I'm always the one like, hey, let's sneak off and fuck. I mean... And they're there's always some. like, no, there's some. You gotta, no. You, you and I'm just like, gotta come look, on. You gotta look out for that. And they're like, yeah. ah, okay. <laughs> and then, you know, we go, we just uh, here's, make out and touch. And... Here's that trope again with the cigarette and oh, the yeah. gasoline tank guy. I wonder what this guy, what, what did this, this, the white dude with the uh, cigarette, what did he go on to do? Uh, not much. He's very so, much into it. He's, he's into his character. He's good. He's good. He's, it's not a huge role, but he's yeah. he's into it, man. He's got a, a whole character built. Oh, right in her face. He lights it up. I love it. I love it. <laughs> With the, the years of Latoya Jackson, or she? Let me tell you something about this woman. I don't know anything about her. All right, but I can tell you this. If I had to guess, I would say that she, because she's, she has got a star appeal, yeah. star quality. She was a dancer or a theater stage New York actress. Okay. Maybe she was an L.A. when they cast her, but I feel like she's got this just, she is glamour, she has got class. She's right. got class. 
look at her. And there's a very theatrical kind of classiness to her. And I think she either uh, was on the stage, and this is her... theater. Yeah, one of her early roles, maybe. I could be completely off on this, by the way, everybody. But I'm just giving you my opinion. I've never looked her up. Yeah, she seems like a like a... You know, she has that sort of like I, I'm quality. not. You know, she's somebody that I'm. I I believe she she'll be able to take care of herself as an actress, right. even though this is thirty, nearly forty years ago. But I don't know. So what happened to that white dude? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm. Uh, that's Chuck. Yeah, I guess. Or, so. No. It's uh, Loco. Yeah, maybe Loco. Cause Chuck, I think, is like the main dude. I'm not positive about that. Oh yeah, he was in Warlock. Is that this dude? Yeah. Did he do much? He had a pretty good career. How many things did he do? Quincy, a lot of TV shows. Warlock. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> nice. What about her? Yeah, he didn't do that much. Uh, no, she became a, uh, a doctor. Or Whoa. She works in medicine or something. Oh well, she yeah. totally like that's that's awesome. Like she, you know, she's just a doctor. She don't need anything. She's got money. Yeah. Uh, but maybe everyone. But think about this. She can show her kids like she's got like this cheesy yeah. thing she can show she, her kids. I was in she three. has done. She was in the documentary. Of this, of when they shot in oh, wow, yeah. in this um, barn out in Saugus. Is it Saugus or uh, New Hall? Whoa. But yeah, she was in the doc- the documentary of this. So she's Fox. Oh, she's Fox. Sorry. Yeah. Who'd you check? Chili. Oh. We're, uh, we really don't know this movie all that well. <laughs> Who the um, fuck is Chili? Yeah. So Fox. Yeah, I figured um, she had done, she'd done a lot, man. Yeah. Brewster's Millions. The Jeffersons. Hunter. Oh, she was in she's, Brewster's she's Millions. She's been a, a lot. Yeah. She's still acting? Uh, no, I think she's... Oh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, since 2017, I don't know what you would consider recent. but um, Well, that's pretty recent. I mean, look, if you can have more a career longer than 10 years in this business, shit, if you got 10 years, but if you can have a career longer than 10, you're doing good. Yeah, exactly. Or you did good, you know? There's no need. Yeah. This dude is strange. He, I mean, he's he's good, you know? He's definitely... In him, he's dirty as fuck and and you know greasy and sleazy, and yep. he hasn't done much. Uh, I, I don't like he think was... he's he's moved on to anything more than this. A lot of these guys don't. I mean, aside from Kevin Bacon and and um, well, I mean, you know, I would think that Corey they would, Feldman. And... A lot of them continue on, but they just have they become bit players in movies, but there's or, or whatever or TV, but they're still that's what their career is. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to show this as a reel and be like, okay, you remember when I was, you know, getting a, Whoa. Getting a pitchfork in my throat? Whoa. <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. God damn. I like the raccoon tail on the... Uh... That's a pretty good effect, man. Oh, Ooh. right in the gut. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, grab it, grab it. Take it, take it, take it. <laughs> Pull it out of him. He can't. Oh, so, shit. the makeup department. Interesting stuff, man. What? I, I, well, I mean, just, that's pretty good. Oh, you know? yeah, no, no, I mean. Aside from the Tom Savini. This has know. got some good stuff, but obviously, you know, part four has got the, the yeah. creme de la creme. Well, that's Savini returning right. to, to end it. You know, he's like, I created. Jason, I'm gonna kill Jason. You know. Good motherfucker. <laughs> what the hell are you guys doing up here? See, he said their name. Whoa! Whoa! 
shit. You know... We have a machete. Placed well. Grab it. I just re remember. Fox. You... You just realized... Okay, so... For those... Whoa, that was cool. Look at this. Where are you? Where are you, motherfucker? You, how, how is he... You realize he's the hero in this. Yeah, that moment. Right? Yeah. No, not only in this moment. Okay. Oh, Jesus. He blackjacks him, right? Or clubs him with he's something, clubbing him right? Some... Okay. I just love how he... Now... Oh, go ahead. No, well, well, go ahead. Go ahead. Well... Okay, we think that's the end of him. But he comes back in the end and and saves the girl. Yeah. It, and, it, then and then gets killed then. then gets killed again. <laughs> oh, this is that infamous scene where... Yeah. Oh, it's this. coming up. Yeah. It's not yet, but yeah. Now, when I was a kid, I remember watching this on TV. And they... It's weird. They showed the Friday the 13th during Halloween, right? They showed the three of them, mm -hmm. right? And I remember seeing the scene when he gets, you know, macheted in half as he's walking on his hands and they showed that part, but I never knew what happened. Cause it was like, it happened so fast that it didn't even look. Maybe they also edited it on TV. To well, of course. It even yeah. More confusing. Yeah. Maybe, but like, I don't remember being that much different, but yeah, he gets cut in half and it didn't take until years later after watching it. I was like, Oh, that's what happened. Cause you know, by then you could go, you know, right. Frame by frame. But yeah, it was always that, Kill always confused me. I was like, oh, what happened to him? He just got I mean, chopped in the nuts? And I think that that's kind of like, if they had Savini on this, yeah. they, it would have been gruesome. A better effect. You know? yeah. But also, you know, they were dealing with... Yeah, the ratings. Rating stuff. They got away with some stuff here, and then in part four, they went all out. And, you know, maybe they thought, well, this might be the last one anyway, which we'll go out. And then after that, because you go to part five, and you don't see anything. Yeah. You know. Well, you see a lot of tits. That's good stuff. Yeah. You know, and that's stuff that... A lot of tits. You know, looks like Adam trying to jump. Um, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's kind of... That's, um, really, that's a cool effect. But the... You know, it's like... It's funny how the rating system in this country is like, man, let's show them titties. But yeah. Let's not show them... Getting you know, hacked, hacked in them. Yeah, getting them Well, it's, in. it's interesting because, like, um, the... They film. They probably filmed a lot of this trying not to get that X rating, you know. Like so, they they hold back a little bit, or you know, sometimes they'll chop out, you know, gore, certain gore effects, and it makes it even more freakier. Like right. it freaks you out because you don't. You know, the same thing happened with Robocop. It, be, it was a dark. <gasps> oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shelly Goodman. I'd be doing that shit too. Yeah. I'd be looking over there. I got no problem with Shelly doing that. I, like, I do. They were friendly. I look over there too. But Robocop, you know, it was a farce on, on violence in the inner city and and they cut out a lot of the gore oh, and yeah. it became even, like, your brain just fills in that gore oh, and you're yeah. like, God, that's even worse. Oh, poor Shelly. What a bony. Oh, no. See, that's shot the thing. down. Friend zone. That's that reality. Sucks. That's reality, though. Like she's, she's really oh. sweet, and she'll flirt with them, but she's not gonna fuck them. The That's reality. Like, like we all know that. No girl yeah. out there that is like that. That is the girl next, the doll. The I know. Yeah. They're not yeah. gonna fuck you. Yeah. All you sorry, guys. think that that she girls. will. I mean, it depends on what you look like. I'm sorry, <laughs> and what you do. And I'm sorry to say that, but that is a big thing. But, okay, so this is also interesting that. Um, they actually, okay, I made a comment a little bit ago about how they, Friday the 13th actually has character development. Yes. Much more so than the superhero movies today. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, they assume that you know so much about certain superheroes, superheroes that yeah. you already know. Or yeah, well, they assume that. because they have, right, they think, oh, okay, well, these people can, we, you know, we have our base that's going to make us a lot of money. Yeah, but who cares? Then we have all of the, like, you know, what I like to call the um, uh, fair weather nerds, you know, the ones that are not really nerds that didn't really care about that stuff, but they started to, uh, as soon as it became a popular thing, they wanted to fit in with, like, what's popular, so they pretend to be that and they started reading up on things but 
So the material is out there to kind of read up on, but this stuff, you didn't have material. Right. All you had is this, the previous movies. Right. And a lot of them are not the same characters. Oh, yeah. Look, Look at a pearl, pearl necklace. Pearl. <laughs> pearl necklace. I've heard... I've heard a few of these, uh, like you were saying on your set, you, you know, there's certain people who just, they they show up on set and they just decide not to do their nudity. I heard this girl oh, yeah. was like that. She was like that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard mean, this that's girl. Like, it's like a, Which that, is why you don't see... That's like another... And then there's a body double, right? Yeah. You'll see a body double. Oh, there. really? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's this one. When they go in the shower. Oh, it might be. Or it might be. No, you might be right. That, that is this one, isn't it? You might be right. We'll see it soon enough. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing. You know, if you guys are out there wanting to make movies, uh, do it. And if you want to make horror movies, do it. Yeah, they're, they're the most There's fun. There's enough actors out yeah. there like me that want to get involved, and you know. people will watch it. And people will watch it. Uh, you know, but horror, horror you're going to run into girls. Like, you need tits. <laughs> yeah. You have to have those in these movies. It, it just it mixes with the blood and the and the humor so well. It's a part of the genre. Yeah, you can't let that go. But you're going to have girls that are going to promise you, yeah, I'm going to show everything. And you might even get them to sign contracts. But they will end up uh, flaking out on you. Yeah. Not all of them, but you got to vet those. You know, you got to vet them. You got to <laughs> have a hard. screening, a tit screening. It's hard to decide. The thing is, you just have to, you have to figure out. You know, you see a girl and they're really disgusting and not disgusting, but like very. Um, you can tell when they're loose. You know. Oh yeah, you can you tell. Go, when oh they're okay. Down. Well, because I had a buddy who made a movie. I had a movie who, uh, or a friend who made a movie that you couldn't. Um, you oh, couldn't. This is the you, from. you couldn't stop the girl from showing her tits. It's like, oh, I asked him. I was like, how'd you? How'd you? It's like I. She wanted to show her fake she, tits. She didn't even know we were filming. She just had <laughs> yeah. them out. She showed she had them out. Those are mwah. Those <laughs> yeah. girls are mwah. They capture my heart. So okay, so this story that Dana's telling right now, um, this is a weird sort of like. I think they did this to pad out the movie because this. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make any it sense. Doesn't it make doesn't sense, except with what you told me yeah. that like this was really like they had filmed this because to show that he's even more animalistic that he has. Oh, to this fuck was too. this is where the rape scene yeah. happens. Okay, they probably yeah, yeah. just don't show the rape. In this right, moment. right, yeah, yeah. Because then in the in what she says is she she voice yeah that's right. Hold on, what she said. Like she's about to come. <laughs> you got, so probably you got raped they, by a mongol. Yeah, what they probably filmed is that she was uh, that she was passed out while he's just fucking her. Yeah, he's just fucking yeah. her while she's just passed out. Like that would have been even creepier of a scene because he's an if, animal. If they had filmed that. They probably film like him to on top of her, and then she would just be like, Aah. you know, like <laughs> drooling and just passed out, and he's just fucking her. Oh god! You know that is. Well, just, she's blacked out. That's even more it's Bill disturbing. Cosby. Yeah, it's a Bill Cosby. <laughs> uh, Jason was before his time. And she got pregnant by Mongoloid, and she had Jason's kid. There you go. She had to put it up for adoption. And there you go. There's another Jason out there somewhere. How is it that they hadn't figured out that being the a good storyline. Let's say that she did get raped and then they have Jason's baby mongoloid yeah. kid and the woman ends well, up killing herself. Here's the thing. It's like I said, when you introduce that element that he raped her, yeah. like if they had kept that scene intact, that would change the whole dynamic. Not only, I mean, the movie would just be like, see, you have to almost kind of root for Jason in some ways. Not root for him necessarily, but he has to be he, you want him to continue. Well, that's Nightmare. And you, you, yeah, Nightmare. that's Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare, like he was the son of a thousand maniacs. Right? Yeah, you don't want to see your main killer get killed because you need the franchise. You need him to keep, especially right. if that killer is really well liked and stuff. Right. If you introduce that he's a rapist and that he's raping them too, then it's like we can't. We have to. You know, it's really hard to sell that to the audience, and and it's it is hard to want to go see another sequel where he's just raping and killing. You know, <laughs> it's hard to want yeah. to go see that. So you I have understand. To follow that template. <laughs> yeah, I understand that they got. But could you imagine that? Like, like I, 
I, I think it, it would have just the whole series would just be nothing but it I, would be everything plus rapes. Yeah, it, uh, what, uh, that reasoning for that I think is strictly to just sort of like come on. You know, like, people would just tune out at that point. Yeah, right? they would just be like, look, I'll just go to one of the other ones. <laughs> and, well, a man, mongoloid that, shit. A mongoloid that uh, rapes a, a, your main or Or one actress. of the main actresses, yeah. Like, but... It's weird. Yeah, it's very weird. <laughs> taking a shit and smoking a joint. <laughs> yeah. Well, that like, other guy was uh, drinking while taking a shit. Yeah, the I mean, shop, true, the, but the, the grocery store. I have store. never gotten high and taken a shit at the same oh, time. Oh, dude, fuck that. I mean, that is... Look at Jason fucking with people. It's great. God, He can't just wipe kill Wipe your him. ass, bro. He, they never do. They never wipe I your ass. I remember that when I was a kid. I was like, dude, the guy didn't wipe his ass. That's gross. Yeah, totally gross. And, and he thinks that's okay. And it's like, it, it's like... It's like that in every movie. Yeah, they just... Le- it's like people don't put on seatbelts. It's like people, yeah, you know, you're like, dude, that yeah. is. Yeah. Come on, oh, there's <laughs> so he shakes the shit shack and then he walks over to the barn to. Well, you know what's funny? What? He is. He has a habit of doing it because he does it in this movie and Spunking he does it people? in the next movie. Yeah, he, she's in the well, shitter in the pot, porta potty and he's it? shaking. He or. Or she starts shaking it, his girlfriend, yeah. and then Jason comes and shakes it. Isn't that a theory that he's a trapper? Oh, yeah. Like, well, I didn't even know that, yeah. but that makes well, sense. Well, Jason is a trapper. Yeah, Obviously, that's how he that's survives. How he survives. Yeah. But, so, in this case, what he's doing is just leading this guy into, you know... Oh, a trap. Yeah, a trap. That is a really good... I had no idea, but that's that's right on the money. Like... That's all, he does that a lot in all the movies. He eventually, tries to yeah, he starts the man. to. Uh, He's very animal, very animal. <laughs> oh, Harry Manfredini. Harry Manfredini. I saw him. The music. Uh, yeah, I saw him at a, at uh, Pinocchio's in the Valley. Oh, once. you did. And and it's I knew you it was him. him. Oh, of course, just <laughs> from seeing these documentaries, but. I was eating, and as soon as I finished, I was listening, and he was talking, regaling this group of young, you know, probably orchestral musicians, and they're eating lunch, and he's like, and I, he said, um, he specifically said, there's only, you know, basically he said, there's only one thing I'm known for, these, you know, these movies. Right. And I got up, and when I was leaving, I leaned over, and I said right in his ear, I just want to tell you, I love the score for Slaughter High. And he, <laughs> his face was frozen, he had his... His hand uh, around his fork, about to shovel whatever into his mouth, and he just looks at me. Everybody's laughing, and he's smiling because I had overheard him, but I wanted to let him know that, like, no, us fans out here, we we love a lot of the scores. Yeah. <laughs> he liked it, I think. I hope. Uh oh, here comes the hockey mask. The birth oh, of the God. hockey mask. Oh God. She just. just... Who was she bopping? <laughs> See, he talks like oh, you, man. Oh man, that's how I this talk. This greasy, yeah, this greasy, disgusting pig talks like you. But I don't look like that. <laughs> oh. And not sexually. In that way, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. Poor Shelly. He can tell. And then on top of not getting any tang. Oh. He's just sad. That has to be the most unintentional, iconic moment ever. You know what I mean? It's like the hockey mask is now synonymous with Jason in Friday the 13th. And they didn't even realize that, right? Well, they didn't, you know, they they didn't know it was going to be... You know, they gave him the mask. That's incredible. And they just, they didn't realize it was going to be as popular as it was, I guess. It was unbelievable. I mean, they probably did it, and then when they did the fourth one, it, it's a continuation, so they just kept the mask on them. Right. And then, I think they just started noticing people wearing hockey masks, and they realized oh, oh, right, this right. caught yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. And so they just kept it in for the re- remaining sequels. Yeah. 
You know, I mean, that's how it would think about it. If you like made like a movie and something of it started popping up for everywhere for Halloween uh, costumes and whatnot, you'd be like, oh, dude, this yeah. is popular. We got to make money off of it. Did you see any of the canon Friday the 13th in the theater? Yes. Well, I, I only saw one, and that was. Jason Goes to Hell. Or, I'm sorry, no, not Jason Goes to Hell. Whoops. That was uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. Okay. And I saw the trailer for that during, I want to say, it might have, I, I don't really remember, I, I want to say it was like, I can't remember what the movie was, but I went with my dad, and we were watching uh, the uh, the trailers for whatever movie we were about to see, but the trailers were coming up. And, and the trailer for Jason Takes Manhattan starts... And it's such a weird trailer because it's all like from the back, yeah. And it slow pans into him, just this guy standing at the Hudson River, and yeah. you're like, "What is?" This? And then he turns around, and then he turns around, yeah. And it, I was like, "Oh!" Yeah. And so I remember, and my dad looked at me, he's like, "You want to see that, don't you?" I was like, yeah. <laughs> so we went and saw that in the theater. That was the only one I ever saw in the theater, as far as the canon. I mean, I went and saw Freddy versus Jason, right? And then I saw the remake Friday the Thirteenth, which sucked. Um. So I've seen those in the theater, and then I've seen some of these recently uh, in rep. Oh yeah, know, at the new Bev. That's but, cool. But I've never, I never saw you know any of them besides Jason Takes Manhattan in the theater. Dude, it sucks that the her death. God. God. She's just oh, pretty. so just, this just, apparently this lake. Uh, it kept draining because the water got soaked into the ground. <laughs> oh, shit. They dropped her wallet. They dropped her wallet and had your condoms in it. They re... Yeah, that you'll never use. This is great. Um, they recreated this moment. Yeah, this is kind of cool. What? <laughs> so great. Oh man. So they recreated this in six, where the girl gets. Um, that is a great effect. That's a that great was pretty good. Because that's her. That's yeah. her face. That is a great effect. Uh, it just looks disgusting, you know. It is. So. Um, oh yeah. Oh god. They recreated the fucker. wallet thing. Just fucker. In um, Ugh, part fuck. six, where the girl gets a spear through her mouth and, you know, drowned. That's the director's wife. Oh, and then, okay. it, you know, the credit cards fall out of her hand and the wallet falls out of her hand. It's pretty ruthless. She's pregnant, isn't she, in this? Yeah, this character's pregnant. Yeah. I think they've already said that earlier, but... Oh, no, that guy's... Okay, so I was wrong. It wasn't the guy in the shower. That was probably four. No, that's chapter. This. No, because this guy does the handstand. Yeah. The other guy, oh. the other one I'm talking about, who didn't want to do the nudity, was in four. The girl then. Yes. was in four. Correct. Are you sure? Yeah, this okay. one does nudity. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is a cool design for a cabin, though. Yeah. I have to say. Uh, it's amazing psycho yeah you know the, and, and we've yep. seen these shots in so many movies it's yep. amazing how iconic that is that was actually in the um, <sighs> fucking idiot <laughs> that was actually in the uh, box cover on the VHS box cover her taking a shower made me want to rent it yeah come on let's do it let's <laughs> You know, they may have... You don't leave the either. water running yeah. and the shower curtain <laughs> unless open. It's in, it's gonna... Unless it's in 3D. Unless it's in 3D, it's going to be all over the floor. <laughs> nice. God, there's those tits. Yeah. With that pearl necklace she doesn't Sweet. even take off. Yeah, no. Oh, that never uh, comes off. Ah, he's just hot. You're not even hiding. <laughs> right in half. Oh! oh! Even though 
that shot. That is a good effect. Yeah, but that the the That's shot, good. the upside down, yeah, where he was just split like yeah. that. I was like, ugh, <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> but it good. doesn't show the blood yeah. in that moment. But it doesn't. It hit the, we well, got it hit, the cut. I, it looked like it hit the lens though. That was great. It was just nasty. Yeah. See, Jason doesn't like people taking, having sex. No, like fucking. no, he did because he wants it. He yeah. wants the sex. He don't want them to have it. He, he wants, wants the it. rape. He wants it. Oh, the other thing they mentioned about the rape scene, the Jason rape scene, is um, he, what if he was just... it was against what he was about because he saw some teenagers fucking and then... Um, yeah, that makes sense too. Like he's yeah. not, you know, it's like he's anti... Yeah. He's anti-sex. Yeah, because know? that's what caused him to drown, supposedly. So that urge but he that he didn't drown, <laughs> as we can tell. The animal urge in him is suppressed by his hatred. Now, okay, so here's here's a question what about, about her. This. What happened with her? Anyway, go ahead. Um, something um interesting about the Friday the Thirteenth spirituality part of it, like. They never explain how he has the supernatural power other than maybe his mom did some voodoo. Well, I don't... How do they explain that? How does he keep coming back? How does he survive? And they try to do it in Jason Goes to Hell, right? His spirit goes into people, uh, to different people. Yeah, I mean, they get really, really metaphysical, you know, yeah. in that movie. But, um, I mean, what's she reading? What is the magazine she's reading? Comic book, I think. Oh, I thought it was a play. I thought it was like a Playboy. I thought she was gonna fucking rub one out to a Playboy. Yeah. What is it? She's oh, reading. about to see. Oh, Fangoria. Fangoria. Right on. Which which one is that? Eighty four. So it's eighty two. Thompson. Hey, there you go. Godzilla. Little nod to the uh, not to the master. Godzilla. Oh God. What is this shit? Hmm. Paint. <laughs> Jesus, that's disgusting. She's in half. Oh yeah, that's the classic. One, that's yeah. the classic. Yeah. I think they've done it out of four or five movies now. So under the bed. Uh, like a, oh yeah, under the bed. You know, yeah. Kevin Bacon getting it like that. Um, but what were you saying? Were you saying? Oh, spirituality. Oh yeah. What, what is it about? I don't know. I I don't know. You know. I mean, <laughs> you just get to the point where you just oh that's. Can we do that? Um, there, you know, I, I tried to think like when I was a kid, I think, I don't know, I just, because Freddy was, you know, in your dreams, so I already knew that was metaphysical, that was this, you know, weird, um, you know, ghost-like kind of, he was a... A ghost, but he was conjured in your dreams, kind of a thing. And Chucky did the whole. Um, Chucky was voodoo. Voodoo, yeah. Uh, Michael Myers was. See, they never explain that either. Well, his he just sur- I mean, he kept surviving. I mean, at the end, he survived six shots plus, you know, a, a knife in the neck. So you know, at the end of it, of the first one, that there's something with this guy. He's like non, like his psychopath psychopathy you know is so strong that it's that it, he's not feeling pain and you know like you you hear people who do pcp and stuff like they can they can right. take a lot of pain things that would kill people they could still take it for a while it'll eventually kill them anyway but with jason because he was at the end of the first one he was in the river there was already a spirit like a metaphysical thing he was a ghost but he was in 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 a physical form assuming he even he even died though exactly but he like i said he was in the river jumping out you know it's oh skunk so that girl candy man is still uh, working ghost you know what uh that girl is still working oh what is she doing What's she uh, up to these days? Uh, well, it must be a new, because um, there was a big gap between 1993 and 2019. Jesus Christ. So, yeah. So for 27 years or 26 years, something like that? She found a new rebirth, I guess. Like, people... Well, it's the... It's the this generation. Honestly, that's she was what a weekend, it is. She was at Weekend at Bernie's. See, here's the thing. These movies 
they they're bringing a lot because I've seen that before with a lot of other like uh, actors who were in some of these movies. Oh God! Right. With internet and social media. Yeah. Well, they the our generation has grown up now, and we're making these movies again because these movies inspired us when right. we were kids. So now these movies are being made, and they're they're going back and getting some of these people that they loved in the other ones. You know, like oh, that's a great shot. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of these people who who may have lost their career because they were in these kind of, you know, cheesy movies from the 80s, they may have had to go a long way, but now they they they, they have found viability again. Yeah. You because know, they're filmmakers of our they time. They remember them. Remember yeah. them and they want to... I'd do the same thing. Yeah, I would yeah. too. There's a lot of great actors and actresses that were in these movies that would be fun to have and... Yeah. You mean you know what I'm saying? Like it would be fun to have Tom Shepard, you know, yeah. in a movie. It'd be fun yeah. to have, um, uh, Na- man, Nancy Loomis. Yeah. Now she's older, but man, I would love to to have her in something. <laughs> they made. Um, I remember seeing her. She, she doesn't seem all that upset. Yeah. Her acting is pretty pretty rough. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, that's pretty bad. Well, she's been smoking a ton of weed, so she's just <laughs> like, "Oh fuck." Maybe she's playing it like that. You know, I mean, I could see that if you're super stoned. Yeah. You know, it, it's like everything seems so non-real anyway. You know? <laughs> now it's real. Hey, give me her uh, uh, an excuse oh, there, there but <laughs> there's the Frankenstein. I mean, there could be a little bit more like. Panic in her, yeah. in her. She would have sobered her. She would have sobered her. But, <laughs> but no. So, like, I mean, you know, like in in Halloween Part Two, the guy who plays Bud. Amazing Grace, yeah. come sit on my yeah. face. He made a smaller part, really big and memorable. Don't make me cry. Yeah. I need your pie. People. <laughs> if you had him in movies, you yeah. know, you're bringing him back. Yeah. And uh, you're right about this guy, though. He's sort of like who. Who remembers him? I'm sorry. He probably has had the best career out of all of them. Really? I, I guess. I could see him just doing a... He got probably involved in a lot of TV. Uh, yeah. Probably doing like uh, soaps and, and, you know, he was probably playing the husband and the, the, uh, he, the police He seems officer. like... Well, he seems like the the guy... He almost seems like the guy who's who could should have had Powers Booth's career you know he almost has a powers booth look except he's not as good no. i mean no powers booth is powers booth yeah uh or was um well he seems to me like he kind of seems like uh um like he was the father on an 80s tv show yeah. you know what i mean he he So he hasn't done much himself. Oh, he hasn't. No. So maybe this was the you know then 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 I'm wrong about that because you could see him moving forward in TV, but yeah, I guess maybe he just was. Well, like you were saying earlier of... about the um, born again, you know how a lot of these people just when they want to stay off the grid, they yeah. they don't want to be associated with right. this sort of you know right. Hollywood garbage, and not to say that this is Hollywood. No, garbage, it's but, not. Um, you know, I I get the sense that I mean he he he's in a thing called Christ Rising. So oh yeah, well again. he he absolutely it sounds like a born again. He absolutely became you know very involved in the church and uh, and is probably disavows this stuff. Probably is kind to people about it, but just doesn't want to associate. It's like I you know what it was a, a time in my life. I'm glad I did it, but I I don't want to go back down that yeah. road. Do you ever see him get killed? Yeah, I, I thought you did. I think he. Yeah, he, in just a second, oh, he gets, he, from, he okay. gets his head uh, crushed. Right here. Right. <laughs> but he can't scream. They do this a lot in all the. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's right. They do a lot of these. That in, is just. In, that is. That's gruesome. awful. Yeah. It's gruesome. Talk about the three D uh, <laughs> effect done yeah, to done to. So it is a brunette that survives. I forgot. Oh, yeah. So this one's got a brunette. Man. This might be the last one she that is. happens. Because they're all blonde, yeah? I, I believe so. I mean... It's great when uh, you go to these conventions and all the guys who play 
you know, Jason are, are like really super nice people. I got, I work with Derek Mears of the 2009 oh, yeah, yeah. one and uh, the one that, you know, obviously the remake and that guy is incredibly nice. I've heard he is. The Such thing is, is dude. like, I, I, like I've said before, Tom Devlin um, was telling me about, you know, he's close with Kane Hodder and, yeah. and, and he basically says, you know, Kane's a nice guy, but that he's like, you don't want to piss him off. Yeah. He's, he's, he's crazy. I mean, yeah. you know, he's got kill tattooed on the inside of his lip, <laughs> on his bottom lip. So, so he's not the, you know, this, he'll, yeah. you know, he'll fuck somebody up if they fuck with him. But I, I, I think like the I fact think he's a dude. I, I love it that he embraces it so much. Well, he's a dude. You know? He's a, he's a guy, you know, he's like. He was a stunt dude, and he's been burnt up, and he's and he's kind of a badass, and he just is like that's who he is as a person. He's like, well, this is what I do. Yeah, you know? I don't think he's you know he's not beating women or saying it ain't like that. He's just he's just a guy you don't. He probably doesn't have a lot of patience for for fuckers from bullshit. You know? Yeah, from yeah. bullshit. Um, so, <laughs> what, is, what was Jason doing? Just waiting till she walked by to throw him. Down? I know. What is he doing? And that's part of the trap. He said. Yeah. That's right. That's all he's doing is showing his uh, trophies. <laughs> like an animal. He's presenting his yeah. trophies. He's like, look what I that, got. That cabin is a l like that's a really nice cabin. It's really windy. Yeah. As the same All of a sudden. Moves. Yeah. All of a sudden. Blowing all the way to New Jersey. Uh I mean, even as a kid, I didn't really think this movie was all that scary. Well, yeah, it's fun. You know? It's the fun one. It's the pothead one, you know? It's like, yeah. you smoke up, you have a good time. I don't know if we told you guys, but everybody should have just lit a joint <laughs> when you, you did not tell fucking them. turn this shit off. <laughs> you probably or smoke up now, whatever. This is definitely a movie where you're just having fun, you yeah. know? Like, this is a fun movie. I saw this... Last October, mm -hmm. I was in the acting class I was in with with the the weirdos I was in class with, but uh, but I I got a bunch of them together and I said let's watch this and I went out and bought all these like three um, <laughs> D glasses. I bought these three a bunch of these uh -huh. and there was like maybe twelve of us there and we watched it in three D and it was fun. We yeah. were hanging out and drinking and having a good time. That's what this movie is designed to be. I like how. He got thrown through a window, and she still thinks he's going to be okay. <laughs> and I'll tell you something. This is what I love about horror movies is that I love when you get reactions. Like, you get to see how everybody's reaction is to horror. Like, you okay. see hers, her reaction compared yeah. to the last one, compared to the other girls. You know, what they're... And, and when you're making a horror movie and you get everybody together, everybody has these moments. Right. So it's a it's such a team effort. Like you you're everybody's gonna have their moment of being scared and like this is her big obviously she's playing you know, if you're making a well, movie now, like a horror movie now, the girl who gets to survive has seen these movies before, so now it's her take of how to be the last surviving victim. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you know, like you, you remember in four where that guy's just in what? I, oh, in part, part four, four yeah. where he's like, uh, they're killing me. They're killing me. They're killing me. <laughs> like, no, really? he's killing me. Yeah. He's killing me. I mean, that's yeah. iconic because it's so bad. Well, oh, it. I mean, the director of that did mention that he heard that in the city somewhere, and that is like something creepy that, as yeah, shit. It is. But in a horror film, well, it just it's, is silly. It, it's silly, but he's, yeah. you know, yeah, it's it's definitely like, help me, yeah. he's killing Was it, me. Uh, Joe, Joe Zito directed that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, the, the Friday the 13th director seemed to not, they, I mean, they've, they've gotten their own success through Friday the 13th, but it's hard, or horror films, or the genre pieces, but you see Ugh. Nightmare on Elm Street seem to have done better for themselves seems like what all the mean? well the directors from from nightmare on elm streets well because rennie mean, harlan chuck well, russell yeah i mean as, a, as opposed to the friday the 13th yeah movie. yeah well i think there's frank darabont wrote one right you know well here's the thing i mean you know nobody i think would would argue or or it's i guess it is argue arguable but um <laughs> oh nice the nightmare movies 
at least in my opinion, they are, of all the slashers, they're the most abstract. They're the more... Uh, oh, you can get artsy. Yeah, the yeah. Nightmare's the art yeah. uh, slasher. It's the art piece slasher because it's... Yeah, you can do so much with it. Now, you can do a lot of goofy-ass shit, what they do, but you can do a lot of really cool, weird, you know, weird artsy things with it, which they've done before, too, and it makes it even creepier. But therefore, you have a very stylized product with a lot of these, uh, a lot of those, because uh, they're you're gonna have a lot of dream sequences. That, right. Whereas these, straightforward. It, you're straightforward. You're in the woods. You're yeah. You know, it's a not cabin. a show reel. It's not a show reel where you could actually use the uh, a nightmare to do that. Yeah. Uh, it's um, not really. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, they're not really giving a endorsement to members only jackets there. It's, they rip. Right what do you away. Mean? Well, she's hanging out, and Jason what? just rips the members oh, only yeah. jacket yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, they don't like this the members is, only. Yeah, ooh, log. Boom. You know, boom. I got I Dana's. She. This is good. She's actually physically fighting back. Yeah. You know, instead of like you know just. I like that. Keys. The keys. <laughs> A staple. You gotta have somebody looking for keys. Yeah. Jimmy Lee Curtis in part one, in Halloween yeah. one. She's that's oh, the God. keys. The keys. <laughs> you know, looking for the keys. You nice. gotta have looking for the keys in you a know, horror movie. Aren't you surprised and a little bit? But see, you can't have the keys in the nightmare, right? Because you're in the dream sequence. Yeah. You just dream it up. <laughs> I, I'm actually pretty impressed. They let her start the car up because typically the car doesn't start up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then this happens, which is, like, ridiculous, but whatever. You cut the brakes. No, nah, it just gets stuck. <laughs> this is a sorcerer moment right here. Um, this is... <laughs> the framing of this next shot is funny to me. When he... Puts his head through the, uh, the, the the window. Oh yeah, gas. Fuck. See a second. Reserve. Yeah. I gotta get me a Dodge. Yeah. If it's got a, something like, that, wouldn't that be cool if I could get me a Dodge from that from eighty three, eighty two, something like that? They had a reserve tank on it. They don't want. Yeah, you're never gonna get the. What do you call that? The, Stranded? Stranded. I know. That would be amazing. This this framing of this shot cracks me up. I ran out of gas a few times in my old van. Really? Yeah. And it was like, <laughs> I had to get people to help me. I had to get Let's Pete see. Stickles one day to uh, come get me. I was stuck in the middle of the street. <laughs> now, didn't... Okay, so Jason's always been running, right? Up until a certain point. Because the joke is that... He doesn't really run anymore. He doesn't run anymore. <laughs> Well, in this He'll one, catch he up to you even though if he walks in, slow. In this one, he can do it. In the next one, I think he just walks fast. Yeah. In the fifth one, lumbers. he just lumbers. Yeah. Yeah, I think this was the fifth the last one is in one. him, though. Well, the fifth, yeah, but I don't think he runs either. He sixth might, though. Sixth but... one, does he do any running at all? No, I think that this was like the end of the running days. Yeah. Like, which goes with the evolution of the character. Like, after this, he's dead. Right. Now, so in the part four, he's back from the dead. Because yeah. in part four, he the beginning of it, he goes to the morgue. You know? But there's something freaky about a this being like where he can run fast. Like there's something creepy about that. Well, they did that in the, the, the remake, remake. They did, yeah. yeah. And that is because there's like even less chance of survival. Yeah. Now the jerk turn that he does is mostly Kane Hodder. What is his? What was his? staple Friday the 13th oh, move. Like which ones did he do? Yeah, why, no, no. What was his move his that he move? did? He yeah, did that turn, just, that jerk turn. Well, the, yeah, the jerk turn. Yeah. That, that, that really, he really, I think, I don't know if he was the first, but he certainly perfected it. I he think that it, was his thing. Yeah, yeah, he made it his thing. Um, and, uh, you know, and just like the walk. and the, I mean, this guy's got a terrible walk. It's really just yeah. this ogreish thing. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, He's going side to side. Yeah, I mean... I mean, that's how you would be if you were, like, a mongoloid. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Except I mean, here, he's not even... It's not even hidden. He just looks very... No, like a normal guy. In yeah. This, like but isn't that freakier? It is, except... 
when it becomes like he's just this monster, you know, and there's the when the humanity has left him, it becomes even more like, oh shit, this guy, you do not, you cannot bargain with this. Right. Oh man. I mean, in that sense, that was really scary when he starts to just be like, it it doesn't. No, <laughs> nice. Boom. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> It's a terrible shot. <laughs> it's great. That's fun too. Just set this stuff up and to tell your actress, you know, how fun would that be? Just like, okay, oh, yeah. you got to do this shit. You gotta, you're gonna get dirty. It'll be awesome. God, look at that fucking makeup. It's pretty good, man. I, I, I like this. Uh, he's not like, you know, like <laughs> in the old days, they or in the newer days, they make him out to be like. Bulked up, yeah, gunned he's out. Like a ripped, like, yeah, fucking, ripped. He's on roids. Yeah, he's roided up. He's juiced, man. I really like this level of Jason, I think. It feels more sort of like I just feel more human. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, you know, listen, I, it's it's good. It definitely is good. Um But that's a I mean that's what, an eighty what? style no, versus No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude. Uh, Dude. Because, you know, like, once they got to Jason 10 and you see his spine and everything, yeah. it's like, come on, man. It's gross. It's, and it's... It doesn't make... It's, it's not dumb. as... Yeah, it doesn't have as... Because you're like, well, wait a minute. He's fragile. He's yeah, it looks like a costume at that right. point. But... <laughs> um, but this one, it just feels, yeah, like it, you know, more grounded in reality. It is. I mean, it, and like I said, it's an evolution. You know, you see his evolution, and even into the next one. Uh, and then, of course, five is, is he's not in it. That's but... right, yeah. It's funny when they use the body doubles for... Um, uh, they use the body doubles for the uh, uh, stunt, stunt work. And it just... You can see the difference. I mean, would you go out that door? Wouldn't you go out the opposite direction? Hell no. Yeah. That's keeping her alive. What a fucking... That's a shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... What a gross looking dude. <laughs> what was the point of that? Can you imagine? He raped her, her. That's what he did. He raped oh, her. Oh, yeah. I guess that's him showing the face of the rape. Yeah, he's like, do you like it when I raped you? Look at the face of the rape. Ah, hey, he's back. <laughs> oh, he's a hero, but then there's this. <laughs> and he just starts. That's uh, He's just chopping. He's yeah. just chopping. Oh, this is the, yeah, this is how they get the thing. This is the, like Fred's yeah. Oasis when we had that scene that he just kept chopping. He just <laughs> kept chopping for no reason. just kept on and on and on. This is the, um, how he gets the hatchet wound in the yeah. air. Ooh. Oh, it's out of his, it's coming. Uh. No, no, don't let him get me. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, this is not the the best acting of them. Let's let's put it that Whoa. way. Just take it out. You know what's interesting? The fourth one, the fourth one sort of picks up exactly. After no, it does. Ends, that, right? That's the point. Is the yeah. fourth one is like. But you never see her ever again. No, you know. I mean, obviously, she goes to the hospital and you know lives her life. Yeah. She lives her yeah, life. Yeah, get back on the canoe. That's what the canoe was about, boys and girls. Yeah. Give us that shot again. The waterlogged um, body that was sitting there before is gone. The one that had Shelly's wallet. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
and we never see her to, again. He, oh, we didn't. So he, we know he, he probably takes her, takes her and hides and her. Hides her, but she never got discovered by this person. Uh, the old big reveal. I mean, I'd say I'd get in the canoe too. I would say, or maybe but, I'd, you know, I. Uh, I, you know, here's the thing about. If you were ever in one of these iconic films, like, are you good with that for the rest of your life? Like, no. I mean, for me, yeah. it's like, it's like if I were to be in a Halloween movie or something, yeah. Or even let's like not use these franchises. Let's say I was in a brand new franchise, or let's say I was in a brand new movie that was either the first one or part two or seven or whatever of a new franchise type of you know that became a icon like saws you know stuff like that like in in 20 years saws are going to be just as you know revered as these movies uh maybe not as revered but certainly part of the festival circuit something like that i would love it but i i would i would want to keep working you know yeah. i'd want this to be a part of my filmography not right. like you'd rather be the kevin bacon rather than yeah uh, yeah or the crispin glover you yeah. know like to, to you know like it's on my thing and yeah, and that's be, right, Crispin Glover. Yeah. yeah, and be able to revisit it if I wanted to, you know. Like, Crispin Glover could go to, he doesn't, but if he went to these horror film festivals, they'd pay him handsomely. You yeah. Know? They'd pay him well anyway, I mean. Um, There's so many, like, fake endings in this But here's the question, series. if if, you know, if you got to be like a Robert England or something where, uh, or even a Nancy... Um, who played Nancy, the actress, in, in Nightmares? Oh, Heather Langenkamp. He Heather Langenkamp, like, but certainly a, a Robert England. Anyway, that like, your career, you can keep doing the movies, and you're gonna make, you know, to be a genre actor. Yeah. Even like Christopher Lee or something. Yeah, that would be cool too if you were constantly yeah, working or a bit of price. Yeah, that's a good know. career to have. Uh, Heather Langenkamp, if she wanted to, could be working a lot. But oh god. Oh, that's right. The mother comes out of the uh, uh, this time. Uh, Oh, right on the tit. She yeah. grabbed the tit, too. She just got to. She grabbed the neck and the tit. Because <laughs> she had to get some of that tit. So, she had to lick what, are they that saying, tit. what are they saying in this? What are they what saying? What are they saying in this uh, movie? That she goes crazy? No. That we can't believe her? She's the killer? No. They're just saying, like... Yeah. Terrible yep. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. She didn't really see the lady in the lake because she's right. trying, but she's going crazy. Yeah. She she went crazy. See, like if we was. were in 2019, I would say she would continue the series, right? Yeah, you would think that she would be in the sequel or at yeah. least in two sequels. Yeah, as, as, in like, as the know, heroine. Yeah. As like they had to go visit her in the insane asylum. Like who is... Who is what? What happened to you that night? Because yeah. I think the killings are still going. She's like, <gasps> Jason. Happened. Yeah, she survived it. <sighs> you know, like she's still alive. She's a survivor. Yeah. You could have brought her in as a character in one of the other. Yeah. You know. I mean, they all survive. Technically, all the heroines survive. So, but where do they keep? Well, Adrian King gets killed. She gets killed. But the one from part two, this one, the one from part four. Um, uh, or wait a minute, no. Uh, the only survivor in part four is the guy. Oh, wait a minute. You get Corey Feldman, but also you get the little kid, the black kid, and uh, and you do get the girl. So there, there's like three survivors in part four. Five. Four, and there's no little black kid. There's not? No, that's five. That's five. Yeah. Okay, so in five you get that. In part uh, three, or in four, you get Corey Feldman at least. So yeah, you do get survivors. You should get them all get together. Get them all together, yeah. And make a, make I a, think they were trying to do that. Um, because they're I think all they crazy. Were trying to do they're that. all insane. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They would be the. But they're then like what, the suicide qu uh, squad of uh, of survivors. But what know? would they do then? They'd go after them. They're like, we're gonna go get that motherfucker, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh Nick yeah. Nick Savage. All right. Nick Savage. Oh yeah, that was good. Yeah. Now you can take your glasses off, guys. Oh my oh, god, my geez. my eyes. <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, so guys, that was it. It's iconic. That was, uh, yeah, that was the iconic... Thanks, uh, Friday Part 3. John Fury. And, um... And, yeah, you know, it, it, this, this is our first episode yeah. of... What is the name of this again? Uh, I haven't figured out it. What right. was it? Oh, uh... <laughs> uh Two guys sitting listening to horror. horror. Three, yeah. Whatever that was. I don't. We don't even have the title of yeah. the show yet. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, just reach us on Facebook or on Instagram by our names. Yeah. And uh, and, we'll, and uh, if we never yeah. hear from anybody, then fuck you all. Well, it's you know it's a. Um, oh, I think Mitch Bogdanovitz is. Um, Three one of our colors is Mitch uh, Bogdanovich. I think he's one of our colors' is dad. Or, hey, look at that. Yeah. That's an interesting connection. I got to talk. Yeah, I got to You got to ask him. Be yeah. like, hey, did ask your dad him. shoot yeah. 3D, the 3D of this? <laughs> right, that's the part three. Yes, we shot. No, well, he's a born again Christian now and he's in hiding. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no he's not. <laughs> he's he's, <laughs> he's he, he lives yeah. the theme written yeah, by. He's hidden out and he's reading. done. Um, Never wants to deal with us ever again. Um, no, uh, yeah, we started out with the third one just because no one ever talks fun. about it. <laughs> no it one ever talks fun. about the third one. Yeah, they, they, not as much as the other ones. Yeah. Um, the Valley's at Movie Ranch. Look at that. Yeah, very cool. Burn down. Uh, yeah. Harry Flex. Yeah, thanks for uh, uh, listening. Jack in. Daniels Distillery. There you go. Olympia Beer. I I've wish never I was... even heard of Olympia Beer. Oh, uh, that's Seattle. Oh. Okay. I wish um, we were... Uh, sponsored by Jack Daniels. Yeah. And or... No, oh, Steve Miner was the new newscaster. Okay. Um, and or uh, Olympia Beer. If Olympia Beer were course, to maybe. sponsor us, yes. uh, we will gladly Blimey. drink every <laughs> uh, episode at an Olympia Beer and give a shout out. It's pretty gross. All right, All right, guys. Thank you. See you later.